So you've downloaded Matchmaker and now you're ready to give it a ride. Um, doesn't really matter whether you're using Windows or Macintosh. It's going to be a pretty similar process, especially once the program is started. All the menus are the same, the windows are the same, etc. It's just starting up that's going to be a little bit different. So if you're using Windows, down here in the lower left hand corner of your screen, you're going to hit the Start menu and start up Matchmaker that way. For Macintosh, uh, I'm using OS 10 here. Uh, you'll probably have it in the dock and you can see the little icon down here. So I'm going to go ahead and start up Matchmaker Tournament. You'll be greeted with a little fancy welcome screen here uh, with some fancy graphics on it. You can just go ahead and close that. Um, now, what you see here is the main working screen for our tournament. There's several tabs, um, brackets you can uh, get at this way text messaging built in if you're using the electronic option uh, listing of all results from the tournament and then also the network setup and this is how you're going to lock all the computers together if you're using electronic scoring but uh, anyway let's go back to the main screen here uh, we need to set up a new tournament so go up to the file menu and choose new tournament and this process is going to be the same whether you're using paper or uh, electronic scoring uh, you're going to be asked for a name for your tournament, so let's just call this 2011 uh, Test. Uh, usually, Matchmaker will default to saving it on your desktop, as you can see here. But if you want to save it to somewhere else, you certainly can do that. It'll create a folder and store all of the uh, tournament data inside that folder. So I'm going to click Save here. And you can see up in the right corner of my desktop here, created a new folder. That's where all the data for this tournament is going to be saved. Uh, so you should have gotten a, a screen that looks like this. Another window pops up, a dialog box that's called Tournament Options. And this is where you're going to tweak all the settings for your particular tournament. So for instance, uh, the name of your tournament obviously is going to be different than what I've typed here. Uh, if you want to use a, a heading that's different than your tournament name on the bracket, so I could, you know, could be as outrageous as I wanted here and type whatever and uh, that's the heading then will go on the brackets instead of the tournament name. Uh, some options available to you. Uh, you can see over here allow unattached wrestlers. Uh, if you intend to allow teams to enter more than one kid at a weight class uh, you would want to click this box and what it would do is change their team name to unattached and then that way their team scores would not count toward the team total. Uh, true second um, this is very popular in Minnesota at, at uh, state tournament time because the top two wrestlers go to the state tournament. And so if the second place winner and the third place winner have not met previously in the tournament, they would wrestle off at the end to figure out who is the true second place winner. So if you wanted to use that option, you would click that and Matchmaker will uh, create those matches whenever necessary on the brackets. Uh, you can choose whatever font you'd like to use on your brackets and your printouts. Obviously, it's limited only by what's installed on your computer. Competition level is really the same as the age. So here we're going to have a high school tournament, so we'll leave it at high school. Uh, placement points down here, first through eighth place, pretty standard. Uh, those values come out of the high school rules book. Most tournaments do not score seventh and eighth place. So since we're not going to be scoring seventh and eighth place here, awarding those, uh, we need to enter zeros for those place values. And what that does is it's a trigger for Matchmaker to not put the 7th and 8th place matches on the brackets. It kind of keeps everything clean and uh, less cluttered. Over here you can see advancement points. Again, those are standard right out of the National High School Rules Book. Same with the bonus points here. You can change them if you wish, uh, but most people just use the standard point values. Now the next thing we've got to do to set up our tournament is to go up here to the top and click on the tab that says teams slash weight classes. Again, it's at the top of the tournament options dialog. Uh, so let's enter our weight classes. We are just going to use the default weight classes for, uh, for this tournament. So if you click on that button there, it's going to enter them all automatically for you. If you're using other weight classes that are not part of that, you can add them using these buttons here, add, delete edit etc. Now over here this is where you would add the teams that are participating in your tournament. Uh, however if you're going to be downloading rosters from the JP Chaos website you don't need to enter the participating teams at this time. When you download them they're automatically entered 
into the tournament. So we're going to leave that blank for now and just click OK. And now our tournament is set up and ready to go. So the next stage would be bringing in your team rosters and you'll be able to see how to do that in the next video. So thanks for watching.